Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I am back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. So in the previous video, we started a series in which we are going to cover PyQGIS. So PyQGIS is the combination of the programming language or the scripting language Python and the open source software QGIS. And this combination is really powerful because you can create your own processing tools in QGIS. So you can come up with something that's going to help you in your niche, whether you are working on some uh, GIS related data to the environment or whatever, or civil engineering or anything like that, or you want to apply that to like mining engineering or geology, you can create your own tools. Uh, in QGIS, or you can automate things and instead of spending hours doing the same thing over and over, you can create a script that will automate that for you in a couple of seconds. So the first video, in the first video, we've seen the basics of manipulating vector data using uh, Python in QGIS, and we are going to continue doing that but I'm going to show you some uh, tricks in this video that I didn't cover in the previous one. And maybe at some point we are going to start with raster data, but it's not going to be in this video. So um, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and watch the video till the end because you're going to learn a lot of things today. Okay, so again, we are in uh, the uh, scripting panel, panel or the Python scripting panel in QGIS. And by the way, if you don't know how to start this one, you can just click on this one and open the script editor in here and you will have access to this uh, IDE in which you can type in your code. And what you can see now, what I have here is I have a line and this is not a regular line. This is an amazing line. As you can see, it's an amazing line. And I've created this line here just to manipulate it and see what we can do using Python and QGIS. So in the previous video, we used some point data, which are some drill hole data or some color uh, data, some locations for some drill holes. But now we want to see what if we have E, first of all, a uh, line or a polyline. And the second thing is what if we have the layer already loaded in QGIS? So if you remember in the previous video, we've imported the layer from our system to QGIS. It was not there in QGIS when we started the project. But now what if we have the layer already there? So that's what we where we are going to start today. So it's going to be really simple. And for this video, we are going to import OS. OS is basically a library. It's a built-in, I think, library in Python. And you can use this library to access like the current working directory, for example, like uh, or to crawl like a folder and look at the different folders and nested folders inside of that folder and look at all the files. So you can use that automate things in your file system. And that's why you use uh, why we use OS. Now then you can see that I have here uh, a variable called layer. So I'm basically going to assign this layer. I'm going to access this layer and using this variable here. How to do that? Basically using QGIS project dot instance. If you remember in the previous video, we used I phase, but now we're going to use QGIS project uh, dot instance and then map layers by name. And I think you know, the the methods themselves are self-explanatory. So basically we're using this one because we're accessing something inside the project already and using instance then, and then you can use the method map layers by name, which means we are going to locate that layer by name. And then all you have to do is to pass in the name of that layer. In our case, it's going to be the amazing line. And then uh, since this one is like a list and you can go and print this one without this one, you will notice that it is some sort of a list. And then to access the layer itself, you need to pass the index of zero in here. So just memorize that by default if you want to load 
uh, an existing layer to your Python script. Then you can see get all features in the layers. So basically we've covered this in the previous uh, video in which we used this one to assign a new uh, some values to uh, to create first of all to create a new attribute and then assign different values or we can go and look at the different features that we already have in this line but now we are going to use this one uh, which is a line not points to access the different vertices of this line maybe you want to look at the different coordinates of these different uh, you know intersections in here and uh, we can use this for multiple things I'll give an example in a moment so basically we have all the features stored in this variable here by doing layer which is this layer again and we get all the features we loop through all of these features then we store the geometry so basically we have this is a temporary variable that uh, for all of the different features that we're looping through and we look at that the geometry for each one of these features we store that in the geom uh, variable here but then we create another variable called vertices and we read that geometry as a polyline because if you remember in the previous video we've read the geometry as point because we want to access the x coordinate but now since it is a polyline we need to read that geometry as a polyline and then we can loop through all of the vertices and again we assign the different uh, uh, vertices in a temporary uh, vertex uh, variable and then we can access the x coordinate and the y coordinate of all the different vertices in here so i hope this one is clear and if you if it's not clear uh, just uh, post a video and you know you can go and view it again or you can just comment uh, below and ask me any question if you want so so let's go and run this and see what it's going to give us and you can see we're getting the x and y coordinate of all of the different vertices in this polyline which is exactly what we want so that was the first example. Let's jump to the next one, which is a more useful one, and I'm sure that a lot of you are going to like this. So currently we are creating things from scratch in Python, but we have a lot of scripts in QGIS already. What if you want to use one of these scripts? What if, for example, you want to use the clipping script in QGIS? Well, you can do that. I'm going to show you a really cool trick that you can use uh, Python to automate scripts that are already existing in QGIS. So let me go and command this out. Oh, I think I cannot do it that way. So let me just uh, go and command these out and show you the second part of this one. So basically, you can see that I have, let me hide this one, I have a clip layer and an input layer. What if I want to clip this input layer by this clip layer? We can do that using the, if you go to vector, uh, geometry tools, or sorry, uh, it's under the geoprocessing tools and clip. What if we want to use the clip? Basically, you can do this and you can go and import that, you know, the, the input layer and then the uh, overlay layer which is the clip layer and then you can save this whatever you want or you can save it as a temporary layer and run this and it's going to be clipped that's easy you know but what if you have a thousand layer that needs to be clipped well that's not easy anymore and you need to create a script to automate that okay so in that case you can use python and it's really simple so basically we're using the same way we use this one we're going to import these layers which are pre-existing in here this is going to be the input layer this is going to be the clip layer we've already imported these we call this one input layer this one is clip layer and then what we are going to do this is why we use os so we use os dot get cwd which is get uh, current working directory so this is basically is going to give us the path of the current working directory then for the output name for that clipped layer we're going to call this for example output layer or clipped layer or whatever you want 
Then we have a dictionary in here. I'm gonna go through this one in a moment. So we call this parameters. These parameters actually depends on the algorithm or the tool that you're going to use in QGIS. So in the clip uh, uh, script, for example, the built-in one, it's we have these, we have the input, the overlay, and the output. So basically the input is going to be the input layer, the overlay is going to be the clip layer, and then the output, this is basically the path in which we are going to save that output. So the path is going to be the output path, which is the current working directory, plus the output name, which is output layer, and then we add dot plus dot shp. So this is going to be the output. Now, some of you might be thinking, so how can I know the different things that needs to be assigned to this one? How can I know if I should, this should be like input or maybe something, or overlay, for example, what if, uh, so how do I know that it's called overlay? Well, that's simple. Let me show you the trick here. If you go to Victor and go to geoprocessing and clip, so let's say you wanna use this one inside your Python script. So you can go and hover in here, and you can see it's saying input layer Python identifier is input. So that's the first thing, the input here. The next thing is going to be Python identifier is overlay. And that way, that's how I use overlay in here. And then the last one is going to be Python identifier is output. And that's going to be the output. So you can go and look at any um, uh, a built-in tool inside QGIS and look at the different parameters that you need. Create a, uh, a dictionary like this one. You can call it whatever whatever you want. I call it params or parameters. And then what you can do is the following: processing dot ran native dot clip. This is native because this is the we have like multiple clipping. Uh, algorithms in uh, or scripts in QGIS, but you want to use the native one, which is the built-in one, and then we pass in as the second argument the parameters. So this is the clip, this is the clip tool, which is the native tool, and we do processing dot run, and then we run, uh, we add the different parameters that we need, and basically again, what if you want to load that layer? You can just go output layer, which is this one. You know the path for that one. It's the output path plus output name plus dot shp. And then you can, this is basically the path to that file. And then this is the output name. This is how it is going to be uh, viewed in here. So it's going to show this name output layer but you can change it here if you want again we use that ogr which is the one that we used from the previous tutorial you can use also the i face from the previous tutorial but i wanted to show you a different method here and uh this one is going to work but uh i wanted to show you that you can also check if the layer was loaded uh successfully or not if it's not valid it's going to print for example layer could not be loaded or uh, if it's valid it's going to add that layer to the uh canva here so let's go and run this and see how it works so you can see that i have an output layer in here and now if i go and look so basically this is this is the layer and this is the uh, clip layer and this is the output so if i go and hide for example the clip layer you can see that it was clipped by that clip layer and we get this poly uh gone so um yeah i don't want to make this really uh longer so we've covered some new tips and how you can use uh, pre-existing uh, tools in QGIS and how you can use them in Python and how you can automate these and I'm sure if you think out of the box you will have like you will create some really amazing stuff so I give you an example for this one to get the different X and Y's uh, I have an idea so I'm gonna try to make that happen and show you the results maybe as a short video uh, or I can walk you through the process, which is uh, a simple bit designer in QGIS. So basically you can see if I have like uh, 
a circular or like a closed uh, string or polyline, I can go and look at the different vertices. I can also go from the previous tutorial and assign an elevation to these if it's not already there. And then what I can do with these X and Y and Z coordinates, I can project them in 3D. So I have like projection with an elevation and an angle and then create another string around these points and then project them, keep on projecting these. And this is going to give me like some sort of a pin design. So that's an idea. You can try that yourself. Or maybe if I have time, I might create a video about that. If it's not really that complicated, I might create a video about it to see uh, if you guys are interested. So that's it for this video. I hope it was informative. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. And with that being said, see you on the next one. He's the mining geologist here to show you all the things that you might have missed. He's got plenty of software tips and tricks for your geoscience lives. So get your fix of mineral exploration and mining engineering information. And check the links, leave a like, and please subscribe.